Hello folks, welcome back to more EA Sports PGA Tour. And we are on the final round of the Open Championship at Royal Liverpool Golf Club, Hoy Lake. Now, I was a bit dubious yesterday after my first round, if you remember right, about the the AI score and when you do the quick play. It didn't do too, too bad, to be honest. Uh, what have I got there? AI score and difficulty 100, pairings off, round type full. That's fine. Let's get into it. Right, it's forefront. Is there a way to look at the do 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 the scorecard up the top? I think. Yeah, look, leaderboard. Ah, there we go. So the first round, I shot what seven under. Uh, second round, four under, and then that uh, third round, they did they. I think they took me down to like they dropped three shots off me anyway before I even started playing. They had a double bogey and a bogey. That's what I don't like about the quick play. It's a bit of a crap shoot and how they, they sort of play, but I'm one shot ahead, so that's not too bad. So let's get into this and get it going. It's still running at the moment. I was actually watching it. I thought, oof, while well, he's I can't see anybody at the moment. Um Harmon's on still on twelve under. I think he was on the twelve for the thirteenth, I think it was. Let's watch this. This Time. is be cool. For as mere mortals, it marches on. Here on this ancient course, it stands still. If these fairways and greens could talk, oh, what stories they tell. Tales of heartbreak and anguish, desperation and despair, and also triumph and destiny. Today, the world's best will take their shot, battling to be known as the champion golfer of the year. This is the final round of the Open Championship. EA Sports and the PGA Tour so okay. proud to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today, we bring you live final round coverage of the Open. What a week and weekend this yep, so the so uh, one shot ahead. I love the intros. I really love the intros when they do them uh, for the majors. Absolutely fantastic. On this Sunday afternoon, our leader here on this Sunday is our featured golfer. Featured golfer. One entering play. Okay, let's see what we got. How's the weather? How's the wind? Oh, it's pretty low actually. I mean, they've got a bit of rain today, but the wind was actually quite low. I think they got. I think they were quite lucky today, actually. I just seen Rory there just before I come onto this. Like, I, I should be able to finish this and get to watch the last few holes. I reckon. Like I said, I can't see anybody catching Harmon. I uh, just seen Rory lip out on the 16th before I started this. He was on minus six. That dropped him down to minus five. John Ram, he was still on minus six, I think, as well. So I don't think anybody's going to catch him unless he has a really, really bad blowout. He's playing pretty well. Yards is the number we're looking at. Pin tucked in the front left-hand portion of the green today. Oh, that should be pretty good. Might be a little bit to the right though. Oh, it might spin back. Yep. Not too bad. Uh, really, nothing wrong with that approach shot. Just a little shy of where you'd like to finish up, but still, one good putt, maybe a birdie. Okay, start off with a birdie. Yes, Good start. That's the way to start the day. It is a birdie here at the opening hole. And that's going to move him into red figures for the round and 13 under for the tournament. So the Cantley is only one behind. A tough hole. Precision is a must but he's on the seventh. The landing area is a small one and features three right, I think I shall turn this commentary. No, I don't know. I'll turn it down because it might be pretty good at the end when you win the open. I don't know if they say something else. We'll keep it on because it's the first time playing this um, major anyway, so we'll see what it's like. It's par four? Yes. Just stick with it. I tell you what, th the run you get on these fairways is absolutely insane. Oh, don't turn too much. Oh, crap. That turned a hell of a lot. Okay, okay. That's not too bad, it's in front of the bunker. The bunker. So birdie at the first, but it'll be hard pressed, Frank, to make birdie from there, I would think. Yeah, it's not out of the question. Now, am I gonna get out of there? I reckon I will. Got a lot of loft on it. Yeah. That wind's gonna help a little bit as well, actually, I reckon. 
Oh, yes. That's not bad from there, I must say so myself. Coming out of the fairway bunker, so really, all in all, that's an excellent approach. I've still got a chance up, buddy. Come on. It's going to turn quite a bit, I think, this one, though. Oh, we get it. Nice. Birdie, birdie start. It is back-to-back birdies at one and two. And he moves to two under for his round, 14 under for the tournament. The third of four consecutive par fours to start this front side is the 426 yard third hole. Pot bunkers aren't the problem here as they were on the first two holes, but thick. Yeah, especially this hole. A tee shot I'm going to have to dog like too sharp. We put a bit drawn this at uh, fate. Difficult approach or even or, worse, wind up out of bounds. I'm sure. I'm not going to aim sure. Because the, the amount of run you got on these fairways are very, very firm. If I land there, it's going to run out. So I'm thinking, try and bring it in a little bit from the, the left. A little bit of fade on it. Come on. Go on, go on. Oh, damn it. And now problems there for our leader. That ball into the... I mean, that's still not bad. 88 to 97. I think it'd be a lot um, more penalising than that. A couple of people mentioned that in the comments, actually. Yeah, it's not very penal, is it? Um, I think we'll actually put up a club as well. Oh, we're 88 to 97. Five mile an hour wind against us, though. Let's try that. This one's looking That's going to be pretty good. It's not bad at all. Just went a little bit too far and a little bit to the right, but still, anything inside 10 feet is excellent on the salt. Oh, I pulled it. I pushed it at the top. Look, damn it. I was. I thought that was like a gimme. I just used like one hand. <clears throat> oh, what an idiot. So that safely That's a straight putt. And I just sort of pushed it out to the right. So we should have been 15 under there. Par fours to grace this front side is this one, the 367 yard fourth. It's the shortest of the four by a considerable margin. Most golfers should be able to cover the fairway bunkers and be left with just a short iron in. I must admit though, this is one of my favorite courses. I think it's absolutely beautiful. Absolutely fantastic course. Now we see the run we got on this ball. That's if the fairways are still firm. I didn't actually see it at the start, actually. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's going to run for miles. That's going into the thick stuff. Look at that, 299 carry. And it ran out at 343. 90 to 97 again. Not um, punished much at all, though. Oh, it's ran past a good bit though. Didn't stop. The way that rolled as well, it looked pretty straight. It didn't turn much. Well, it's the trickiest putt in golf, the straight flat one. Straight flat one. Okay, Iona. Oh, I've missed it. Oh no, got it. Nice. Get in now. Birdie, birdie, par birdie. in for birdie. Oh, we're going to run away with this, I think, boys and girls. Now to the first of Royal Liverpool's three par fives. I mean, the only other thing you can do on this game is actually turn the putting grid off, which I probably should have done for this final round, to be honest. I know it's always comparing it against 2K, but the game's just not hard enough. You're not penalised off the tee enough. You're not penalised in the rough enough. Mind you, I have I played this again yesterday, I think it was. I had a quick round on this course. Like I said, absolutely love this course. And some of the shots I hit into the rough, I was like 60 to 70%. But here I was getting like 70, 80. So we'll see. Oh, that's going to be good, I think. I went pretty straight. That's going to be right down the center. All week, and here's another one that's going to I mean, look at that. 289, so 290, and it carried 327. Wow. 
Just like 47 yards it just carried. Range from here, a second now to the par five. Right. Maybe we should be good there, I reckon. Oh, a little bit of an overswing. Did put quite a bit of loft on it though, so hopefully. Oh, oh look at that! Just bounced right over the hole. Got every bit of that all the way there and got it to stop. Home in two on the par five. Yeah, I think if the wind isn't up and you're still playing with the putt and grid, the game is way too easy. But I just love the, the looks of the, this game, the presentation. There's always talks on the comment section about this and 2K. I like both of them. This, I like for the experience and the immersion compared to 2K, which is the gameplay and the, the hard, sort of difficult gameplay. But like I said, I, I do like both. I really do. Right, what have we got here? Let's drop that down to the 5 iron. We'll bring it back just a little touch. Bit of loft as well. Oh, why is that? Oh, I thought that was a short swing, but that's not bad actually. That might be pretty good. It holds. We're on for another birdie putt. And like I said in the first round as well, I thought these um, these greens are pretty tame. On some of the holes, I mean, look at this one. Right, take my time with it. There we go. And I think watching the Open as well, Friday was quite difficult for them. I think on Saturday though, I think the, the pin positions on Saturday... I'll let him show up first. And right are definitely in play off the tee. Even if you end up in the fairway, the second shot is a demanding one, partially blind over a large tract of gorse and potentially two pot bunkers left. Yeah, I think on Saturday they made the pins more accessible to just try and get the score in a little bit more closer, I think. But nobody actually caught that I am Harmon. Power drive. How far is it turning now? Oh, that's going to be okay. Oh, look at that. Okay, 307. Look how far that runs on. That's crazy. 354. Almost 50 yards. Leaves us 115. Okay, let's try that. Swinging it great today would not surprise me if he stuck it close. Oh, that looks like a bit of an underswing. With the sand wedge, and boy, does I this might come back. Good. Oh, look at that! Throwing darts. One thing, but hitting iron shots like that, that lead is going to increase. He's been automatic on this front side. This for birdie. That one rushed in. It is a birdie here at seven. Off. He moves to 19 under for the tournament. We're miles ahead. Onto the eighth, a par we can just go for everything. 36 yards. It features a familiar refrain: "Avoid the pot bunkers and the tall gorse." Okay, I'll try and start skipping through these guys. But I do like the um, the flybys. That's their own camera view. That's the one I want. see the swing a little bit better I'm kind of a the way I judge it is how far on his backswing before I sort of push forward I'm still not quite there yet I still under swing quite a bit sometimes oh look at that again wow ah too strong for this hole eh? ran out of fairway and into the okay 88 to 99 percent so it's a little bit of a crap shoot here let's put it up a club and yeah, let's put it on finesse try about there maybe Oh, that's going to be absolutely spot on again. Oh, that was a good strike. Took it straight at it too. That one bounce and check. What play? Okay, nicely done. It's a birdie at number eight. And he gets it to twenty under. Twenty par. under par. Was that eight? Am I eight under? Eighteen yards of par three bunkers. Holy shit! <laughs> If I keep this up, we're probably one of my best scores. Um, do do do. Let's go with a five iron, I reckon. Back just a little touch there as well. Oh, 
that's going to go a little bit left. A little bit too much on that one. Overcooked it. Oh. And, oh, almost into the thick stuff. We should be okay there. Little pitch shot. Pitches are quite delicate on this, though. It's so easy to overshoot them. But that wasn't too bad. And again, look, quite a, a tame green there again, look. Pretty straight. Okay, good putt there for his par here at the ninth. How about the final accounting of this first side? Oof, oof, oof. Minus eight on the front nine. Bloody hell. Hey, John Ram here, what, shot 63 on Friday, I think it was? Or Saturday? That was, that was some shooting. It has mounds. Right. It has thick Let's just go for this. Right. Up near the green, the bunker front and right is incredibly deep. Probably going to end up in the rough. At all costs. Come on, bounce, bounce, bounce! Oh, look at that! Oh, as soon as it hits that stuff, it just stops. Which is true, I suppose. But what we got? Eighty-five to ninety-five percent. Still not penalised enough, I don't think. Uh, let's put on finesse. We're not going to get any spin coming out of this, so we want to. So we'll maybe bounce it on the green. Roll up. Try about that. Oh, look at that. We've got the perfect, perfect. I'll see if my um, calculations were right then. Oh, not bad. Not bad. It's going to trickle off, I think, though. Oh, no, it's not. It's held. That wasn't bad from that thick rough. From the rough, he manages to not only make the green, but get within easy striking distance of the hole. We get this one. Come on. Oh, we have, we have, uh, and it continues. The backside, a perfect read. It's a birdie at number ten. Jesus, look lead. at that! The AI scoring's on hundred as well. The swings on hard. Like I said, the only thing is, is wind and the pattern grid. And this is a tough driving hole, a par four at three hundred ninety-two yards. But it looks bloody great. To air it out. But the more prudent play might be yeah, see, it's the immersion and the atmosphere on this game I love. And the looks, the courses are beautiful. Oh, that should be nice. It's going to go a little bit of a turn now with the wind. Oh no, come on, kick, kick. Oh yes. Once again, another great tee shot. Uh, and we just trickle out the first cut there. Not bad. And the driving has been simply superb. The big drive got him here. Do you know what? I want to try seconds. this spinner. I've never really tried it. I think it just sort of checks. I think that's how it works, I reckon. Oh, that's not bad, you know. Ah, good soft hands. That is nicely done. Chance now for another birdie. Yes, shooting the bloody side. lights out. Birdies here at 10 and 11. 22 and under. Now, if you can believe it, a seven shot cushion. The 12th at 449 yards is a dog leg left par four. Those that try to chew off too much of that dog leg could find themselves in trouble if they're unable to carry the gorse. Okay, we'll bring this in from the an elevated green the right. The slopes fairly severely from back to front. Oh, that's staying out to the right. Oh, crap. Look where that's headed. It's not got a big face on it, this one, though. And that ball going to roll out a little too much as the momentum carries... Again, look. It, the bunker. it doesn't penalize you. I was... I'm sure I was a little bit closer to the face there, and it's put me where you can actually get out. What have we got here? 82 to 91%. So... That wind as well. Try that, but bring it back just a touch. No, let's try finesse. Yeah, let's try that. Come on, don't go too far. A little bit of an underswing, but that's going to help, I think. Yeah, that's safe. That'll do. Gives a chance at a putt. 
Oh, I'd give that an eight or a nine out of ten. Been in a fairway bunker and so this screen's a bit. You never know, might even sneak a birdie. Right, turn, turn. Oh, look at that! Oh, that went right over the lip. Oh, Rory was unlucky. If you, if you watched that, that was hell of an unlucky. It actually, went right round the cup. <laughs> so that's another par. So we've had two pars. so comfortable at this point. It remains at seven. The thirteenth is a par three at one hundred par three. Four yards. It yields another panoramic look. One eighty four. That seventeenth hole though on this course. Oh, it's a little, little beauty. Right, seven iron. Lead to a par. Try it out. That should be all right. Well, this could be good. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, nice shot there, right of the hole, and how about that for It's like a dartboard. Mm, confidently done. Another birdie. In for birdie here at 13. Yeah, I think move for me to play this, I'm going to have to play it without the putt and grid. It's just because I was running actually through the campaign, I had it on. So if you noticed the f my last few videos on this, I was playing without it. So I'm going to have to go back to that. Right, I'm going to bring this in from the right. Oh, it's par 5. No, it's par 4. Do you know what? Go with the driver, but might just. Underswing a bit. Because it's got so much roll on it. I could have just went with three wood. I should have just went with a bloody three wood. <laughs> but again, that gives me plenty of room in the bunker, though, I think. Can I get to this? Well, we've got 82, 91% again. Oh, big overswing. Is that going to kick forward for me? No. That's going to leave his little chip shot. So we're going to end up with another par here as well, I think. Unless we do get lucky here. Oh, too hard. That right past the pin. Making it more difficult for myself than I should. You're being too kind. Uh, that's not at all ideal. Okay, we get the par. So that's a couple of pars we've had on the back nine so far. But we're so far ahead now. 620 yards. is fairly generous by Royal Liverpool standards, though. It does feature bunkers left and right. The issues tend to develop on the second shot where you crack and hoe. Commit one way or the other to going for it. Oh, the wind's going with us as well. Um, let's bring it in a little bit from the, the left here. Try and cut this corner a little bit. I don't want it to run out over there, you see. Oh, just don't screw this up. Come on, it's par five. Oh, it's got too much turn on it. Overswing. Shit. <laughs> Oh, I've screwed up. Mm, that is straight into the thick stuff. Oh, look at that. 16 to 25%. Bloody hell. There you go. There's your thick rough. 31 to 40. Uh, 48 to 57. We're just going to go with a little 5 iron out here, I think. Is that going to clear that bit? Oh, I don't know. Hybrid, 31 to 40. DL. I don't know whether I just place it over here, you know, just to make sure I'm on the fairway. I reckon I'll just hit it here. Just so it's on the fairway, not. Oh shit. Oof, that's alright. I thought that might have run on. Oh, under the rough there. That's not too bad. Certainly it's par five. All at one stage looked very problematic, but now, you know, back on the fairway, you never know. Right. That's a big underswing. It's 
going to be pretty short. Again, I'm making it harder for myself than it should. But that's it's not a bad green though, that's quite generous. Turn. Go on. Go on. Oh. Almost. That's going to be another par. No, is it? Yeah, I think. Yeah, good par. That's yeah, par on a par five. The way we were hitting as well, we, sh we should have had a birdie at least there. But again, we're so far ahead. But after that front nine, I thought I was probably in for one of my best scores ever. But eh, it's kind of dropped off a little bit now. Right, let's smash one. Let's. Yeah, let's go with a power drive. Why not? Oh yes, that's straight down the center. Really starting to make a hard game look easy. Drive after drive has been superb. And this one, well, as we like to say, 340 yards. With a so bit of wind against me as well. Second from the fairway. Well, he's left himself 121 yards to the hole. Wind into the face, so you'll definitely need to That should be okay. You've got that five mile an hour wind, but I did put it after the pin. Oh, there's a little slope there. Prep. Just hit the slope. And safely on deck. That's the main thing, but from that distance, really don't want to leave yourself like a knee knock or like a four. Okay, it shouldn't like turn too much. Gonna have to be good. Oh, too hard. Not bad. I had to put a little extra into that one, but got A little less power. I would have had that. Effort. That takes us another bloody par. Okay, that'll be a par here at 16. Oh, three pars on the bounce. We'll remain six here in the late going. Nah, that's the one where Rory um, lipped out yeah, on, I think. One of the more visually stunning holes yep, 17th. What a beautiful little par three this is. 36 yards. That this bunker. Is oh, ho, ho. Classic par three. And a lot that you don't, including steep runoffs, deep bunkers, and a tricky... Okay, let's get close to this. It's only 134 yards as well, look. Here we go. Pitch and wedge. Oh, a little bit of an underswing. They're going to make it. Come on. Come on. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn it. Oh, look how steep that is. Should be okay. We should get out. Nice little blast shot. Oh, perfection. Back in. Okay, it's another par. Out of the sand and that's what will remain. Trying to grind out a par. Or is it? Of course it is. Yeah, that's good par. It is in for par here at 17. Okay, on to the final hole, the 151st Open, Royal Liverpool, Oi Lake. A demanding par five at 609 yards. Two deep bunkers need to be avoided off the tee. Then the fun begins. A second shot needs to navigate a tough dog leg to the right before it emerges in front of oh, the look at them bunkers. So, by the looks of it, we want to be over the right-hand side to try and make it to the green. Get to the pin. And try and get down this right-hand side a little. Oh, we're still going over the bunker, I think, though. So, I think it's just down the centre. Oh, look at that. Straight. Nice. It's going to run for bloody miles. Yes. Step one out of the way. Carried 314. One more good approach shot could just about seal it. Oh, 371. Oh, we should be okay, I think. Oh, there's not a lot of room to play with there, though, is there? Oh, I don't know whether to try and bring this in from the left. Just play a little safe. Let's try that. That's nice, we've got the bottom one perfect. Oh, it's went a bit further than I thought. What the hell? I didn't think it'd go that far. 
really hit that second shot on the button to this par five. Hmm, should have been a lot closer than that. Couldn't get it right. Stop. Yeah, too good, too long, sadly. Go on, get in. Oh, oh, oh yeah, beauty. Look at that eagle on the last. <laughs> Golf's original championship. I just got an achievement for that. <clears throat> what an eagle on the 18th, though, eh? 13 under. Final round. Bloody hell. There we go. Take a screenshot there. I'm Rich Lerner. Until next time. Yeah, the final round was too easy, guys. I do apologize about that. But yeah, I enjoyed it. That's, that's a hell of a course. One of, uh, it's got to be one of my favorite courses in this game, to be honest. I really, really liked this course. And I really liked uh, that tournament itself, to be honest. That was really cool. So there you go, guys. The 151st Open at Royal Liverpool Golf Club, Hoy Lake. And we are the Open Championship of 20... Open Champion of 2023. That was good. I enjoyed that, even though it was too easy. So, again, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you again next time. And don't forget, stay safe. Oh, hold on. I'll have some rewards, won't I? Let's see what we get. Oh, what was that? I want rewards. Ah, there we go. Legendary Bowl spec. Let's see what we get here. Legendary Bowl balanced spec. That's not too bad. What else have I got? The Open Championship rewards. This will probably just be XP, I would imagine. Uh, cash. Or gold. And let's take a quick look at this one. Might as well while we're here. And another 1300. Yeah, not too bad. So, okay, guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you again next time. And don't forget, stay safe.